You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Proverbs chapter 31. And we'll be reading from the English Standard Version. The words of King Lemuel, an oracle that his mother taught him. What are you doing, my son? What are you doing, son of my womb? What are you doing, son of my vows? Do not give your strength to women, your ways to those who destroy kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, or for rulers to take strong drink, lest they drink and forget what has been decreed, and pervert the rights of all the afflicted. Give strong drink to the one who is perishing, and wine to those in bitter distress. Let them drink and forget their poverty, and remember their misery no more. Open your mouth for the mute, for the rights of all who are destitute. Open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the rights of the poor and needy. An excellent wife, who can find? She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax, and works with willing hands. She is like the ships of the merchant. She brings her food from afar. She rises while it is yet night, and provides food for her household and portions for her maidens. She considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hands she plants a vineyard. She dresses herself with strength and makes her arms strong. She perceives that her merchandise is profitable. Her lamp does not go out at night. She puts her hands to the distaff, and her hands hold the spindle. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. She makes bed coverings for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them. She delivers sashes to the merchant. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege of being able to look at this portion of Scripture today, and for the wisdom that you give to us through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, there's a variety of things that we see here in this passage that are immediately applicable to our lives. Lord, you give us an example of the fact that it is unwise to become drunk. It's unwise to give our senses over to things that have the opportunity to alter our ability to think justly or to think fairly. Lord, you also show us in this portion of Scripture the virtue of being a godly woman, the virtue of being the kind of woman who esteems her husband and Lord, we know that this reminds men of the kind of women that they should seek to marry. And it reminds women of the kind of people that they should seek to be. Lord, we see a great example of that. And we're grateful, Lord, for the fact that you have outlined this for us in this portion of Scripture. Help us, Lord, to take this counsel to heart and help us to walk with you faithfully. We love you, Lord, and we're grateful for the privilege of knowing you and walking with you each and every day. And we pray, Lord, that we would honor you in all circumstances of life. We give you the praise for this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. For more resources to help you in your walk with Christ, please visit us online 
at DesireJesus.com.